Okay, let's talk about how to make a subscript and a superscript for an equation for, for a chemical formula inside of an equation. So in order to do that, you have something like this, this number of moles of acetic acid per number of liters of water, for example. It's a nice way to find something where you need the super and subscript format. Uh, in order to do that, what you do is you find in the menu up here, the place where you have the equation editor. So, there we go, let's see. It didn't show up immediately, so I clicked outside the equation, and that allows me to go to insert equation. And, all right, now that I've got the equation edit, that just allowed me to get the equation editor open. And having done that, what I can now do is then go to this little piece right here, where I can, more options, and this is a superscript option, this is subscript option for inside an equation. So I click where I want it to be, and I'll be right here, and then I'll go click on that superscript option, or rather subscript option for its chemical formula. And now it's inserted that little space in order to access it, I have to push the tab button, and now I've accessed that little space, and I can type the three that I want, and there it is, and now I can delete this other three out of the way. Oops, pushed the wrong button there. I can delete this other three out of the way, and that allows me to make it happen. In order to do that, by the way, you want to get the little cursor before the three that you want to get rid of, and then just push delete, and that'll get rid of it. Now, the unfortunate part of this equation editor is it does leave a space. If you try and delete the space, it just deletes the whole number but unfortunately it's the best we've got with Google Sheets. Uh, if you have Microsoft Word, it does a much better job, but well, like I said, it's the best we can do with what we have. So for that water right there, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to insert a subscript. Now you notice when doing that, it didn't delete the number two that I had highlighted there. It merely put in a place where I can do that. So once again, I push tab in order to access that place where I'm gonna put the number two. I type two in order to get it in there. And then once again, I get the cursor before the number two and delete. That way it's now H2O. Again, a little messy, but at least it gets the point across and that's what we're looking for. All right, that should take care of it.